Paul McCartney got in touch and said that he, he was working on a book um, on Lyndon McCartney, his former wife, who was a great photographer. And in going through the archive, he found a thousand photographs that he'd taken, which he thought had all been lost, of the early days of the Beatles. And he basically said, like, would you like to have a look? And do you think this could be interesting? Like, yes. So the photographs um, in the exhibition cover just a three month period. So from November 1963 through to February 1964, which although that seems like a very short period of time, everything changes for the Beatles. And, you know, people have also talked about how everything changes sort of culturally. He is taking pictures to record them as memories, but also because he's sort of taking pictures emulating the kind of photography that he was seeing in newspapers and magazines at the time. So there's a sort of a real combination between a snapshot, but then ones that you can see where he's trying to take a proper photograph. His photographs are really great, and I think he does have a really excellent visual sense, um, and really and a photographer's eye. Um, he's the first person who will say he's not a professional photographer, uh, but that he was really interested in photography. He's been, you know, sort of going with us in this exhibition every step of the way. He would come in and he would spend a very long time looking at every photograph, you know, reading the captions, pointing things out, making suggestions. So, yeah, it was very much his exhibition.